Welcome to numerologist.com. Pick a number, six or 73 this week, and go ahead and pop it in the comments below and come back and listen to your message today. Hi, everyone. I'm Julie Geigel, spiritual advisor and healer over at HeavenSentHealing.us. And today we have some beautiful numerology messages for you. So I channel Archangel Metatron and Metatron has some wisdom and insight to guide you on your journey today through numbers. So let's go ahead and start with that first one. If you picked six, six is all about harmony. R you out of alignment. It happens to the best of us most definitely. So this number is all about creating balance in your life. Maybe things are a little bit out of whack. Maybe you're ready to throw something out the window. Well, this is really just a sign that you're putting too much energy in one place and other areas of your life are suffering. So before you ditch it, Try to invest a little bit of time and energy, a little love, and see if that doesn't shift things. Uh, so this energy is also about compassion. It's inviting you to really step into other people's shoes to get a fuller understanding of the situation and their perspective. So trying to be a little bit less selfish, maybe pay attention to where you're being impatient and try to put a little bit more uh, compassion into those experiences and see if you don't get a different outcome. Yeah. So this is actually a, a global theme. It is about um, finding compassion for everybody on the planet. I know there's uh, some areas of the world that are really struggling right now. And you're, you as a light worker are being stepped up and asked to be compassionate, to send your light, to send your love to those um, people who need an extra boost. Because you know what? We can all feel that disconnection, that uh disharmony when one person is out of alignment we feel it whether it's a million miles away or in the next room especially if you're a highly sensitive person you can really feel that energetic frequency so it is critical right now to create that balance in your life otherwise you're going to tend to feel overwhelmed energetically drained and just exhausted and not able to shine your light because you don't have any energy left to give anyone. And so when we uh, take a look at harmony in our life, it is the um, a pleasing combination of different parts. So it's the blending together of different ideas and uh, things that maybe aren't something that you would normally gravitate toward. Uh, but again, seeing another person's perspective and trying to be compassionate and trying to be understanding and encompassing and incorporating all that is. I, I mean, it, it just is about living on the planet in harmony because we have so many different people with different ideas about how things should be run. So when we take a look at number six, we not only have this harmony component, which is so important right now on the planet, but we also have the energy of earthly possessions. So that's where you can find a lot of times that uh, you fall out of balance because you're focused too much maybe on your career, maybe working, or you're focused too much on uh, material possessions that you are trying to acquire. And this is just kind of a wake up call that there are other things that are more important and having a balance between your financial life and your spiritual life is super important. It's not one or the other. I mean, there's an interplay of those two forces that's super important 
to pay attention to because when you're focused too much on one area, the other area can start to fall and vice versa. So number six is really that kind of wake up call. Are you spending enough time in prayer? Are you spending enough time in um, paying it forward or being compassionate toward other people? And where in your life are you feeling out of harmony? Bring attention and awareness to what is unfolding in your life right now. Okay, so in terms of love, again, we have this energy of balance and maybe not giving enough attention to areas of your relationship that are needing you right now. So be more attentive, ask for what you need, and create the balance that your relationship deserves. Because I just get that feeling of starving, you know, that that you're either starving for attention or your partner is starving for attention. And just a little bit goes a long way. So whether you're single or in a relationship, it's really important for you to be able to fill up your own cup, not to be dependent and needy on other people to make you feel whole, because ultimately you're responsible for how you feel and not blaming what's happening in the world for uh, neglecting uh, those people around you or neglecting yourself because we need you right now. You know, Gandhi said, be the change that you wish to see in the world. And even though we're just a small drop in the sea, our vibration right now is super, super important on this planet. And when we can function in that harmonious state, it affects the collective consciousness. So that's how we can help. That's how we can show up um, by being the best version of ourself right here and right now and praying for those around us in need. All right, now here's your beautiful affirmation. Go ahead and pop it in the comments below. I love to see all those affirmations. It has so much power. We create a beautiful collective consciousness when we come together like this. And I am now creating a harmonious life. I am now creating a harmonious life. All right. And uh, be sure to stick around till the end. I will be sharing something super special with you. And if you have not hit that subscribe button and the bell, uh, be sure to do so so that you can be notified when my forecast goes live. And we love to hear from you. So um, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like and comment below. Okay, so my nose is just a tickling here today. And of course, we have 73. So that's why uh, our message today with 73 is faith. Faith, absolutely. Are you doubting your path? Are you doubting uh, what's happening in the world? This is a sign to have faith that everything is unfolding in divine and perfect order. And there's a bigger plan at play here that we can't see yet, but to trust that everything is working out for us. Things aren't happening to us. Things are happening for us, for the evolution of our consciousness. And I talked before about the collective consciousness right now is on fire. Uh, we really have a lot of work to do to help the collective consciousness. And faith is another way that we can be supportive to those who are suffering on the planet right now. Now, when we take a look at our numbers, we've got the seven, which means you're on the right path. You're doing the right thing. Keep doing what you're doing. And then we've got three, which means the ascended masters have shown up. They are here to help you. They are ready and able uh, to assist you. Now, when we add those two numbers together, we have 10. 
And 10 is all about fresh starts and new beginnings. And then when we uh, go even deeper into that, we have the number one, which is make a wish. So God is literally opening up the gates to heaven saying, your wish is my command. So remember, it's important not to fall into that rabbit hole of fear and worry and um, get caught up in some of the drama that's occurring on the planet, it's important to be steadfast in your faith, trusting that things are uh, happening exactly as they're supposed to, that there's divine order, even though many people are getting hurt and there's a lot of suffering on the planet right now. Uh, But having faith that Sometimes we need a breakdown in order to have a breakthrough. And sometimes that chaos can be exactly what we need to take us into that next level of humanity, of, of you know, that collective together um, on the planet. So there's absolutely a disconnect going on in your relationships, in your life, on the planet right now, Um, but it's important to take one step at a time. You don't need to see the whole staircase in order to trust and know that you are being guided by a bigger force outside of yourself. All right. Now, in terms of love, This is about being open to change. There is some change coming in your relationship and it's positive. So giving your relationship the attention that it needs, that it deserves, giving yourself the attention that you deserve and that you need, and having faith that something positive and new is coming on the horizon and it is happening in divine time. So try not to get frustrated. All right. Here's your beautiful affirmation today. I trust everything is unfolding perfectly and God's plan is bigger than my own. I trust everything is unfolding perfectly and God's plan is bigger than my own. Oh, can you feel the energy of that one? Wow. All right, I've got a super uh, special surprise for everyone. I am a Reiki master teacher, and I'm going to do long distance Reiki right now for you for three minutes. We have our Reiki series coming up in May, and I'll be hosting a special free introduction to Reiki. But I wanted to give you a little taste of this beautiful, powerful Reiki energy right now. So... So just go ahead and take a nice deep breath. I'm going to activate that beautiful Reiki energy and set your intention for healing right now. And you can keep your eyes open and gaze into my eyes, or you can take a deep breath and close your eyes. Whatever feels most comfortable for you.
take a nice deep breath. And just close your eyes to absorb that beautiful healing into every single cell of your being. And know that you are dearly loved and cherished. We'll see you back here next week. Have a beautiful and blessed day.